Italy and Russia too, they said they wanted to fix. Well, going by the past, they've basically fixed two focuses and then added two new focuses. So I suspect that they will fix it. Probably actually France and Russia rather than Italy because both of them are going to have a heavy communist slant and they'll probably add nationalist and republican Spain focuses. That's my guess. Although the next one is probably going to be a country pack rather than a full DLC, so maybe they'll do more. Not sure. USSR and Italy are two that intervened in the Spanish Civil War. Okay. I just say France because there's been a lot of hints with France and their communist potential tree. So the French alternate history, I think, would be more interesting than, say, a Soviet one. Although I guess the uh, Soviet one would be a restoration of the Tsar. Dominion of India wants to join. Yeah. Oh. This front's probably going to heat up very soon. And... My line's not actually going far enough. My bad. And I would like to say to India... I would like to have four more divisions, please. Wow, you have 37 now? Flipping hell you've militarized. There's the 24. Just because I want a full army over here. Attrition is causing big problems. Unfortunately, I can't build stuff. I really wish you could build infrastructure and ports in allied territory. Orders. Oh, you have one too many? Did I miscalculate? Apparently I did. Okay, uh, you can have this guy back. How do I do that? Or I could request more. Because we could bring Richard O'Connor in, for example. Or Dempsey. No, you know where Dempsey needs to be? Dempsey needs to command this unit. He's going to be my Russia intervention. And yeah, sod it, we're going. We're going to go and intervene in Russia. Uh, live by, uh, Liverpool. No, don't frickin' sail. Okay. Because I can't see German transports getting past the Royal Navy right now. We're sinking more and more submarines, which is lovely. Oh, here come the Americans. Fall of Hong Kong. We were unable to resist. Ready. Right, and I do need another field marshal. Ah, do I though? Attention. No, I don't think I do. And also, I'm going to change your colour to orange so I know which one you are. Commands. And then the purples are the Attention. India Corps. Commands. So let's make you... Brown. No. What colour would you associate with India? I just said brown because that's their neutral colour. Not yellow. Green. We'll go... Green. Yeah, green's good. Okay, so we've made it to Greece. And Ready nothing has move. happened. Ready to move. 
I thought Greece was in this war. We're not going to hold that entire territory. We could probably hold this, though. Alright, have we made it to Liverpool? We yes, have. Sir. Should be 24 of you. Oh, you're still sailing. Fair enough. Greece is at war with them, yeah. Not Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia is still independent. In that case, I could just go and take Albania. Yes, sir. I'm still kind of astonished that you are independent. Like, how on earth have you swung that one? You are very heavily industrialized, but you don't have a lot of troops. So losing Yugoslavia right now would be kind of bad. Well, we'll fortify up Greece, and if they decide to attack us, then they decide to attack us. Killed another four German subs. We are destroying their submarine fleets. I do need more oil again. And you have finished training. You can also go to Liverpool, then you need a new colour. Uh, I like that colour. And you need a different colour. You also need a dis different symbol. Uh, because you are a motorised. Make the stars the motorized. In fact, that's something I could do just generally. So yours should also be a star. Ready. So you guys have low organization. But your equipment's still okay because you're not moving. I'm just hoping that stays true. Um, right. Dockyards. We actually finished the refits for most of that. Sweet. Okay, let's go and queue up some Frogger Pirates. Finally. Hell yes. Has Germany just failed to do anything with submarines? Yeah, they're dying even faster and... <coughs> Italy continued to lose them too. That's got to be real ironic. The entire world at war except for the Balkans. You're not wrong, actually. There's green curry. There is Thai green curry. It's really nice. But that's Thai, not Indian. Just like Thai red curry. They're like the two famous ones. Whoops. What was that? <clears throat> and we do have enough for the finest hour speech. Which is even more base wars, but well America's in now. Ah, sod it. Let us, therefore, brace ourselves to our duties, and so bear ourselves, that, if the British Empire and its Commonwealth last for a thousand years, men will still say, this was their finest hour. That one I don't know as well. Unfortunately, there's no reference to Churchill's best quote. History will be kind to me, for I intend to write it. Great quote. 
I put in a word for yellow, Thai yellow curry. I haven't had that one. Right, and then you were also... Oh, I can't actually help you. Um, do, 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 do. Ask for access. Yes. So, I can't do docking rights, but hopefully I can dock. Yes. Ready. Yeah, they're still trying to submarine over here, but not very effectively. Ooh, that's a bunch of Americans dead. Resistance to occupation. Oh, in Syria. Right, that's a thing. Yeah. Naval engagement. We have the Australians and the Dutch fighting against a lot of Japanese submarines. Crikey. They've invested pretty heavily in that. Yeah, we definitely need to get some more recon vessels out there. Speaking of which, how are we doing on recon ships? Really, they're not being added to anyone. Interesting. Okay, let's create another recon fleet in that case. And you are going to fight here. I thought I assigned Frasier. I never assigned Frasier. Whoops. Four ships left to refit. That's it. Four. Can I just give Syria to Free Francine as it was French to begin with? Actually, that is a very good idea. Yes, I absolutely can. Uh, give control of state. Lebanon. Damascus. Darazir. We go. Now it's your responsibility. Plus, that does give you some extra military factories and also some more space to build up with the factories that you have in North Africa. Much more useful to you than it was to Poland. I mean, history wasn't that kind to him. I don't think anyone forgot Gallipoli. No, but he is repeatedly voted as the UK's best ever Prime Minister. I'd say generally it is more positive than negative. Ready. Do I still have a defensive army in the UK? Oh, we have some more motorized. Right, they were going to be for you. Except that you're not really the home army anymore. Um, new theatre. I'm going to rename this theatre into Russia. And then this one is going to be home. And now we can just start producing like another army, or we can just concentrate on defending Britain. When the four destroyers finish refitting, you need to cancel the license from the USA. 
Good point. Oh, we have some more dockyards. Okay, so with those dockyards, I think I'm actually going to go and build a new 1940 light cruiser. And this is going to be the Dark Engineer class. You're also going to be fast because you've got to keep up with the destroyers. You can have armor. You can have sonar? Yeah, because you're going to be with destroyers. You can have radar because your main job is going to be surface detection. Uh, you are going to have guns to help protect yourself. You're going to have a secondary battery to help against smaller ships. You're going to have AA. Um, don't know that I necessarily want you to have much more than this. Because if I pack on more stuff, you're just going to get slower and slow down the destroyers. And also you'll get more expensive. <clears throat> I mean, one thing that we could probably do is... I don't have them. Yes, you do. Depth charges. Whoa, those are expensive. Two hundred. We'll put them there. Don't forget to man the Spanish border in Northern Africa. I'm kind of hoping that Free France can deal with that once everything has been conquered. Although I should probably put some more men in Gibraltar, that is true. Could add another plane. True. Yeah, we'll do that. That looks good to me. Basically a mini aircraft carrier. What do depth charges do? They're anti-submarine. So the sonar detects the subs and then the depth charges allows you to fight them. Oh, this costs 48 to do. Alright, we'll have to come back to you. So in the meantime, dockyards, I'm just going to have you building convoys and cruisers. Yeah, the Shenton was my previous light cruiser. Let's get some more Frogger Pirates going. And we have technology. September 41. We could start getting mechanized. Which I think is a good idea. What better artillery? You know what? Let's do that. Although, actually... <laughs> Before I forget, let's make sure that these units are tip top. So we want to build hospitals, support artillery, then eventually logistics. Let me save that for a second. Okay, we're short on motorized, we're short on tanks, so I can't add either of those. So my exile armies really are stronger than my home armies. How are you doing? Crushing it. my experience, battleships are the literal kings of the sea. They used to be. Not anymore. Submarines now beat um, battleships if you have no screens. Radar. And also, I haven't lost any capital ships since this war began. So I could probably do with refitting them, but then there's not really anyone, with the exception of the Japanese, to fight at sea. And I wasn't really expecting to fight the Japanese very heavily. My job now is just to keep Germany off the ocean. Okay, so we got radar, we got cryptologic bombs. 
I'm going to get the Royal Ordnance Factories Birmingham. The Royal Ordnance Factories are not producing enough small arms, but like we did in the Great War, we could contract the Birmingham Small Arms Company and expand their capacity. Do that. How many guns do I have? I have 11,000. So, Soviet Union, I hear you like guns. Let's... I even got two, eight, two, six left. Plus, we can send you Sten guns now. Actually, I don't have that many Sten guns either. One, eight, six, four. So I'm fairly sure that the other types of guns are going to free French at the moment. So actually, most of those have already gone. India. Wait like a month and then move, mate. Update yours. Oh, uh, who's this? Aha, the exiles have arrived. So I think the exiles are going to fight. No. The exiles are going to hold river. That land in particular. Listen up. And then here come my regulars. Dempsey can do an upgrade. Dempsey can get infantry expert. I think he should, because that is definitely what he specializes in. Lost some capital. I think I lost one. It really wasn't very many. Because if we go to the ship overview. Actually, Heresy Penguins lost a bunch of ships. <laughs> it's because 12 ships are currently in repair, so you just fought something big. Like, really big. Where, though? Don't know. Uh, American Destroyer Squadron is done. Fully upgraded. Dead. Because, yeah, we must be using... No, nope, we have nothing being repaired. And yet, clearly repairing. Yeah, all the big ships were slightly damaged by something. They're mining us now, are they? New technology. Well, let's continue the escort efficiency. Alright, so these guys have arrived. Let's bring Dempsey. How can I see? Th oh, I can. It's just really dark. Alright, so Dempsey can do this area to Smolensk. Actually, you could probably do even a little bit further, maybe to Bryansk. No, let's go forwards. Stop being so pessif pessimistic, Mordred. You can do that line. Down to Chernigov. And then we have our one motorized slash tank slash I'm going to kill everything 
who I think is going to be deployed over here. So let's just put you as a fallback line here. And you are going to be bright red. Mexican entry into the Allies, Franklin Deluno Delano Roosevelt has sponsored a request from Mexico for entry into the Allies. Whether Mexico seeks mutual protection or foreign expansion is unknown, but Mexico's oil is lucrative assets have on our side. So I can either go, or I can say we have other plans for Mexico. Absolutely. Welcome. Also, we have a bunch of air power. Um, Spitfire Mark II's, I think, have already been fully upgraded, right? <clears throat> Pretty much. Uh, we could upgrade the Lancasters. We could upgrade the full Mars, though I don't know how much those guys are fighting right now. Actually, wow, we've got a lot of fighters available. Um, well, in that case... Oh, can I not use your air bases? No, I can't. Huh. Alright, so I can't help you with that, but what I can do is start sending more and more aircraft after their airspace. So yeah, we're going to begin creating Lancasters. I wonder what their range is. Without upgrades. I have a way of finding out. Make me a Lancaster. Wow, we need a lot more aluminium for this. Bloody hell, I'm going to be importing a ton of this. The United Mexican States have joined the Allies. <clears throat> An air wing here, call it 400. And we want them to be modern aircraft. And yeah, you can't really reach, is the problem. Well, let's move you to inland, and then let's move you here. Uh, with the exception of the bombers who are going to be based here still. Now, what is your range? Tactical bomber range, 1,400. Lancasters can easily reach. Because their range is like 3,000 even without the upgrades. Yeah, their range is 3,500. So if we just went full out bombing, they have double the range of the tactical bombers. We're going to make the Mark 1 Lancasters. Oh, and you could actually convert. Let's do that first. Gotta wait for your planes to arrive. Fine. Oh, they're getting close to our line. Hopefully these guys arrive on time. They should do. We have more time. They're Blitzing through the uh, Balkans, uh, Baltics, but not that. How many Spitfires am I making a month? It's going to be a lot. Don't say that. Right, we have more factory capacity. 
Um, well, if I'm going to be taking on the Japanese Navy, I think I probably ought to maximize my naval production. So let's do something like this. And I also want to know where my aluminium comes from. Tungsten, chromium, chromium. A little bit of rubber. Aluminium. Alright, so we want to fully upgrade this. We get 51 aluminium for this. Oh boy, Guyana definitely being prioritized. Wow. Rubber and oil. Oh, there's another bunch of resources. A little bit from Singapore. It's only one province. Oh, it's only one province by one tick as well. So Malaysia's actually done a ton of upgrades for themselves. They don't need me to do it more. Got some submarines. The Dutch are still fighting subs. Uh, the other thing we do need to do is make sure that my ship port over here is high level. Let's do that. And then I'm going to lock out use of these. Well, I'll... No. I'll allow that one because I'm willing to invest in upgrading it. And then the other thing I want to do is radar in Singapore and in Malaysia. Then those are all kind of important, so we're going to give you high priority. Get those done first. <clears throat> when is D-Day planned? Considering it's still 1941, not for a long time. Reliability is useless. It doesn't help your planes at all. Upgrade your range. It does help your planes. It means you have to replace them less often. Reliability is chance of air accidents. And air wings of 100. That certainly used to be... Tr well, let me phrase that. Air wings of 50 to 100 for close air support. Specifically close air support were the best. Um, I don't know about air wing size for other things, and I don't know ever since they released the um, <clears throat> air overhaul if that's still true. But for um, close air support, you used to want between 50 to 100. Almost never have air accidents, that's not true. They happen all the time. They're one of the largest forms of attrition for aircraft. way of seeing that. Um, I'm not sure how you see it. Don't know. Anyway, I want to see the Germans reaching my elite lines. Because I want to know how my armies hold up against the German lines now. What's going to be the next thing I pay for? I'm probably just going to save up for... Portugal. If I could get Portugal into the war, that would be nice. Although that would be slightly dangerous if Spain then decides to join. <clears throat> How's your train? Oh, we have more elite French tanks done. Sweet. So let's put you into a new regiment. Let's march you over to Liverpool. And then we'll have you sail over to Russia. 
and the Polish units are going to be ready soon too. In which case I'm going to have a very effective mechanized force in Russia. That'd be nice. Which I can then add to this small unit here. Which is currently being commanded by Hoxthausen. I lost nothing, that was a convoy. Oh, Japan's invading here. Oh, and Singapore's been giving me tons of troops too. Interesting. Um, Netherlands, can you hold or do you need me there? I think you probably need me. Alright, let's send in your templates. Whoa, that's a lot of firepower. Four artillery. Combat with the 30 is a bit derpy, but crikey. Alright, so let's grab those four. Let's put you in a new army. Which army is this? Oh, that's India. Um, actually, yeah, India Command can be responsible for this as well. Then you are going to be fighting alongside the Dutch, so we want the most orange emblem possible. It just needs to be a different orange from my usual garrison orange. And you also want a defensive commander, which Richie would fit the bell. He's also good, got good logistics. Yeah, Richie would do nicely. Alright, so Richie needs to get over here and push the Japanese out. <clears throat> Those are my convoys. Oh, here comes the Australian Navy chasing the subs off. Thank you. And technology 41. End of ish 41. Oh, we could have got the Valentine DD. Oh, that's amphibious. No, it's the Valentine that we want. That's the light tank upgrade. Yes, we want those. Definitely. Seeing as we are actually using light tanks relatively heavily, we will want to switch to medium and heavy at some point. But right now, because I'm using motorized as opposed to mechanized, that works better with light tanks. Once you go mechanized, then you probably want to use mediums. guys actually going to get here in time. Yes, sir. The Japanese are putting a lot more troops into this invasion than I expected them to. We could pull some units from India, that is true. Um... Although, I'm more scared of a major offensive against India. So I'd rather not do that. How's the Soviet line looking? There's going to be a lot of scrolling around here. Still can't see them. My motorized will be very useful down here in the flats, in the steps. How far are they from reaching for? Okay. Orders. We're 
about to arrive, so we'll see how effective we are. <clears throat> Not very. In that case, I'm going to send the two Malaysian forces to join this. And I might also conscript, say, the New Zealanders. Over here. So it will take them a little time to arrive. But they will. <clears throat> and hopefully the Australian and New Zealand fleets are doing a fairly good job of keeping the Japanese back. Let's just take a very quick look at our naval situation. Oh, we have another three Clemsons available. What are you lacking? Oh, because those aren't in your reserve. I see. Let's put them in your reserve. I hadn't really foreseen that being a problem. You know what? It's fine. I'm going to move you back up to here. Uh, that's not what I was hoping for. That work? That's still the training fleet. There we go. And then you are going to be white. Now I'm just going to need to remember that this is the Japanese fleet because I still want the ships coming from the same reserve. Those three Clemson should filter into this. Small convoys, that's not good. Looks like the Japanese are bringing in more and more strength, and crikey, they are really contributing to this. They are really, not contributing, they're really, um, investing in it. That's the word. I would like to improve artillery, November, you go up to 8th of December. Let's get more fuel development going. And with that, I'm going to have to say thank you very much for watching. I'm going to have to go and get something to eat, but I will be back in an hour. And I think I probably will continue this. Let's let's do this, like, for this week, and then next week we will return to a more balanced schedule rather than just Heart of Iron. I'm still enjoying it, so there is that. It's a good sign, I guess. So thank you, everyone, for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to hit that follow button so you get notifications when I'm live again in the future. If you've really enjoyed this, do consider hitting that subscribe button so you get notifications when I'm live in the future. If you've really enjoyed this, then do consider subscribing. Um, I just said that, didn't I? Patreon. If you have enjoyed this and you want to support the channel other ways, you can check out the Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash Viking. If you wish to see this type of game from the Dutch perspective, I have that series uploading right now. That's at youtube.com slash Viking. I also have a Discord, which is where I hang out, where the community hangs out, so you can hang out with us. You totally should. Uh, as I said, I'll be back in one hour, so 10pm this evening, GMT. I will be continuing with this series with the UK. I hope you join me. I'll see you then. Bye, everyone. Oh, I should probably see who is streaming. We can host him for a bit. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Specifically, who's streaming Hearts of Iron? Several people doing civilization. Let's take a look. Oh, Delrith's doing it. Angry Joe. Let's go and host them. I like it when they do strategy games. Alright, so we're going to go and raid Delrith from the Angry Joe show. Head on over there, throw in the uh, Viking horns, 
and I'll catch you in an hour. Bye, everyone.